What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. This video is going to be dedicated to showing you or illustrating the very best way to tune a, uh, a blade holder with a blade inside it. This is going to be for a graphic or Roland. It'll work exactly the same way. The holder should be something that has the adjustment at the top, not something that you need to remove and then adjust it at the bottom because that's going to be like a no-no, right? This will be the fastest, easiest way for you to make the adjustments like that will allow like right away. Uh, of course, uh, 2022, this is the year 2022, and plotters have been very, very popular for probably at least more than a decade. But every single year, there happens to be more and more people converting, seeing the benefits of going full plotter. And of course, the more entrants that are in going you know, towards the plotter for their tint business, the more problems will arise about how to tune them because they, are, they don't know all the basics about anything related to tuning this. And they have a lot of ways to film, a lot of uh, time. And so they'll put them away and they'll go back to hand cutting. And it's always a step backwards story of the business. I think that a step forward is to actually learn how to use the plotter efficiently. So let me go ahead and get started with this. And then I put this guy right here. This right here, I drew him a little while ago. This is a dial. The dial I'm referring to is the top of the blade holder. It has a lot of little ridges here at the top. So from here, you can adjust blade out, turning it to the right or turning it to the left, it'll be blade in, right? So when I make reference over there where I'm gonna show you in a little bit how to go ahead and adjust it to the right, when I say I'm gonna go ahead and a smidge to the right, meaning blade out, I'm only referring to like 164 of a turn, meaning these little ridges that you see right here all the way around, I'm gonna assume there is about 64 of these ridges all the way around. So I'm not gonna be referencing a quarter turn or one eighth turn or one sixteen because I believe that's way too much because this right here is brand new and it's it's very sharp and so the most minor adjustments are going to be used but it's going to be perfect I mean cutting a perfect perfect pattern for you and after you set it it's pretty much set it and forget it so go back to referencing this when I say to the right I only mean one sixty four meaning like right here from here to here which is represents one of these notches only. I'm never gonna go over or nothing. It's always gonna be so, so micro to the right or to the left, which is 164. So I'm writing it down there, okay? We're gonna start <clears throat> perhaps uh, at a lower setting because I don't want to go ahead and uh, go through the film and into, the, uh, into my uh, plotter strip. I don't wanna do that because that might break the tip prematurely and you know it'll be harder for me to adjust my thing. So let's go ahead and start with this right here. So we can understand a little bit about the window film, right? Window film is about two mil thick, the ceramic. We're gonna be talking about ceramic film because the ceramic is your thicker medium and from there you can just go ahead and do your force down and you can actually cut your thinner mediums, whether thinner mediums meaning like your carbon, which might be 1.5, which might be somewhere on here or something. Your dyed film might be one mil. One mil is right there. so. You'll be able to just go ahead and do the force, you know, less, and you'll be able to go ahead and with the same blade sticking out once you tune it to ceramic, you'll be able to cut everything pretty much, okay? This is your blade, 60 degree, más o menos. This is about 45. And then a new one that we're using for tinting is your 30. So 30, 45, 60 degree blades that you talk about, and you're always asking which one is the best one for window film. I understand a lot of people are gonna say this. Let's just go ahead and take this guy. This is the old, old school stuff. It doesn't even belong in a conversation anymore. 60 for sure not, this is vinyl. 30% or 25 is what your manufacturer, distributor is selling right now. This is the best one. And the one I'm gonna be actually tuning because if I tune a 45, everything of what I'm talking about is pretty much off the table. 30 degree blade in there. And he said it, he is set at zero. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and adjusting it to the right. I'll show you right now in a little bit. <clears throat> uh, ceramic. What's gonna be happening here is that I'm going to go with my blade um, and go ahead and lay it somewhere around right there, okay? I'm gonna lay my blade somewhere around right there. I want you to understand that the amount of blade sticking out all the time should be, this is your blade sticking out of your holder. The amount of blade sticking out should equal más o menos or more the thickness of your thickest medium that you're going to be cutting in this 
in this case ceramic. So let's say your holder is right here, your blade sticking out is that much. That is a good start right there, okay? But we're not gonna go there because I might go through the uh, liner when I put force down it and I might go into the cutting strip and this will be your, my cutting strip down here. And I, and I don't wanna gouge it, make a line through it because once that line goes through the bottom, uh, then it's always gonna be giving me a skipping or imperfect cut along the way. Okay, so this is our liner and let's just pretend our liner is 1.5 mils. I do not know how thick the liner is. I'm just gonna say 1.5 mils just for the shits and giggles. So our ultimate goal when we set this perfect, it should never be setting it to where it's gonna cut only the film and that's it. It should actually go into the liner and let me tell you why. So this is your blade when you're gonna be using it brand, brand new, okay? Under a microscope, you're gonna see that it, this is so fine, so, so fine, you cannot see it with a naked eye. But I want you to go ahead and understand this. Every time you're gonna be using it day in, day out, this right here is gonna be spending. This right here is gonna be spending. This right here is gonna be spending, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So your blade, if it spends this much, then you won't be making a pass through. You're gonna be up above because of your blade. Like I said, I'm making it seem like, like it's very big, but the film, when you see it, you can't see two mils of film. You just can't, you can feel it. You really can't see it, it's kind of like thin, right? And a lot thinner is this blade that's sticking out and gonna go through this film, okay? So our goal is going to be not to go 10% necessarily or 40 or 50. I think that optimal, you know, to be optimal, I think that your thing should be anywhere like 60, 70% passing through your liner, okay? I think that's where I'm going to take you right now to do that. You know why? Because if you go months and months at a time doing so much production and whatever, it's gonna be spending for sure. It's gonna be spending the tip, but it's never gonna go above. It might go very close to it and that's about it. And guess what? Six months down the road, six months down the road when this happens and you're about, let's say right here with a blade, you can always do, if you're at force eight, all you have to do is force nine and then he's gonna be here again and he's, he's gonna give you another month, two months, a very good life. So this is the scenario of what I want you to understand. A lot of people, what's going on is that they wanna manipulate, like stick the blade out more, stick the blade out less, do force more, do force less, okay. But you're not understanding their relationship, okay? The amount of blade to be stuck, sticking out at least two mil, which is the medium, and perhaps just a little bit more. But for us not to fuck it all up in the beginning, to go straight down to the liner, I'm gonna go ahead and get out just a smidge. And from there, he's actually gonna be about right here. And, and I'm gonna be doing these turns, 164 until he touches. And then I'm gonna go below it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna check until I'm at 70%. Then that's gonna be tuned. Not only the blade sticking out is gonna be tuned, but also your force. And you're gonna set it and forget it and that'll be that. So let's go ahead, uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and go to our uh, plotter room and go ahead and get it started, okay? GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so this should go pretty fast. I got zero right here. I already did up, already did down. I'm at zero. So I'm, I'm gonna give it like a quarter and a little bit more. And I can feel right here what's going on as far as the tip going out. And I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna put it in here. This is a Stealth IR by Dirty Tools, 70% 20 inch. I don't use this at all. So I've been tuning all your blades that you've been buying. I've been tuning them here, exact same method. So we're gonna put them in here, close it up. Do our thing here, one. And he's gonna do his area and all that. And then we're gonna go ahead and check this out right here. I put a little rectangular strip there as far as the length and all that. I'm gonna put um, on condition seven, meaning I'm gonna set a condition aside and go ahead and tune them and then That'll be that. So right now we have our conditions for our ceramic, our carbon, all that. So let me go to condition and just change all this out. One, I'm gonna go to seven as I mentioned to you. Enter. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fours, which is four. And I'm gonna reduce, well, he's already at nine. I think it's a good place, but I'm gonna go ahead and do even lower. About eight, which is right there. I'm gonna put enter, menu. And we're ready to begin. Let's go ahead and uh, see all this tuning 
blade is in there quarter and a little bit more is sticking out that's all um, 20 inch roll for sure for sure you're gonna need a brand new strip I did put a piece of brand new strip here I always do it for tuning if you guys see this right here if you're able to see this black thing in the back it is missing the factory strip on top I know that I removed it because I buy plotters used recondition them to the to be super perfect and and then I I do my thing right sell them so right here is bald so you can remove this ball you don't need to put a factory strip back on there you can go ahead and get any of these from wherever you want there's going to be at stores or at my store uh, or wherever you can find it it has to be a thick tape and i put two layers on top why two layers one to make it this little ridge in the center pretty much disappear and then the second one is going to be my sacrificial meaning like every time i have a pass through my employee forgot to change the condition and i have a little bit of pass through I'm gonna have a little bit miscuts with my thicker or thinner films. So I remove the top strip, put a brand new one and be done. And then everything will be back to perfect. I recommend you do the same thing, okay? So we have our little thing here. We have our four set eight, which is almost nothing. I understand that these normally run at 13 or 14, which is normal for a lot of people. This is a brand new blade, brand new strip, graphic, ceramic film, Stealth AR 70 by Dirty Tools. Let's go ahead and get the first cut and it should go fast from here. He's lacking very, very little, as you can see there. He's kind of stressed. So I'm gonna leave him there. I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here. Go over here. And I know there is a, probably a different way to do it, but just for reference, this is gonna be my new origin. I'm gonna make a cut over there. What I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm not gonna mess around with the force. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a smidge to the right, as I told you, 164. You see right here, okay? And that'll be my origin there, and then we're gonna cut. Do it again. Nope. I'm gonna go 264 to the right because he needs way a lot more. About there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit to the top. All right. Origin. Okay. So we don't you uh, we don't move the fourth. We're only moving the needle because we're we're trying to find out how thick the film is. It's getting very 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 close. So I'm going to move it. A little bit more 264 to the right and I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy to the right all the way to the right okay move him a little bit up about yay that yay much origin so I'm gonna make my cut there now check it out <clears throat> Remember that the cut should be stress free. So he's kind of getting there. 264 to the right. And be done. We cut. Okay, I want you to understand something. Although I'm getting a little bit better and better at the cuts, I don't think the force is enough because as you can see, I already have a lot of blade out and the force, meaning puncturing down, is not enough. So I'm gonna move to the right one more time and I'm gonna, and I want you to observe what goes on with this relationship, okay? There. Okay, new cut right there. It'll be the last time we're going to do it forward. Now we're going to be actually doing the force. So let's see what went on here. It's 
So, if you remember correctly, several cuts ago, three cuts ago, I did a smidge, a smidge, a smidge, and it, to me it seems to be cutting almost identical. Like, the force needs to go down, for sure. Once I do the force down, what's going to happen, the blade is way too out, so it's probably going to perforate. So now I'm going to go back, two smidges, or three, three smidges, and I'm going to go ahead and do a increase the force to nine. Okay. Force, increase it to nine. Enter. And here we are, menu. So, that right there is um, the place that I'm going to start cutting. So, origin, and let's go ahead and check it out, see what happens. Did you see that there is a lot less stress cut here? Okay, so the three smidges back on the blade was a little bit too much. I'm gonna do 164 to the right now and redo it. 164 to the right on nine, on force nine. Origin there and you're gonna see what's, what's gonna happen right in front of your eyes. <coughs> That is almost stress-free. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut right here next door to see if, um, if everything also is the same here. The reason I'm saying that is because um, sometimes the, uh, the plotters might, might not be very even all the way. So we're gonna to get to a nice happy medium. Okay, so we're gonna recut there. happens to be stress-free so now for me to examine how much of the uh, blade is going into the liner I'm gonna remove this momentarily and I'm gonna look right here when I remove it I can see that it's barely scoring it so I need to be a little bit more down remember I don't want it to just make a perfect cut I don't want to have to reset this for at least a year so I need to go into the liner now about 50 60 percent okay so one smidge to the right, one smidge, 164. And that'll be that. I'm gonna do my cut here. Okay. Let me start my cut there. And you guys get to see what's gonna go right now. Okay. There it is. He has a little bit of stress here only. So I'm gonna do one more click to the right, 164 to the right. And this is of course still on force nine. Okay, origin there, we cut. Almost. I'm looking down here and I can see that he's not scored on the liner. Here, it's scored barely on the liner. So you see that most micro, micro unevenness? Okay, it's we're still good because the the uh, liner is clear. Liner is about 1.5 mil, so I do wanna go 60% and he should cut perfect for both of them. One more smidge to the right, right here. And then, there, origin, and then we're gonna cut again. <clears throat> there it is, stress free. Gonna repeat this on the right side. Okay. About there, we're gonna cut there. Origin. Let's go ahead and cut. Stress free, you see that it kind of held on for one second. So I'm gonna do one more smidge to the right and I think that will, 164 to the right. And I think that will do, more than likely it will do. There, origin, and let's go ahead and redo it. Okay. 
There it is, stress-free. I'm gonna put this in the trash can for right now. I'm gonna go and lower this guy here. Brand new area. You can see this is the amount of film I've spent to tune this blade. It's like two feet, and I want you to be as successful as this for every tuning. So let me go ahead and move them up just a smidge right there. Okay, there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this guy all the way right. He is there. Origin, I'm gonna do a cut real quick. Okay, cut number one, stress free. And move this guy to here, a little bit more. And I'm gonna move him to the top. There, and I'm gonna do my origin. So I'm gonna cut right next door to it. And there it is, repeated success on both sides. So I'm gonna redo this a couple of times because I want my blade to go pretty much spent like the most smidge at the tip and ensuring that it's cutting 100% perfect. Origin right there. Cut number one. Number two. Stress free. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the way I tune my own blades and I send them to you uh, via, you know, uh, my dirty tool store. And you can see the amount of film that we're using, probably about mm, three feet. If you guys are spending more than three feet or even less, I mean, I know there are guys that are really good at doing this without the explanation. So they'll do this like a lot faster and probably within a foot because they know what's going on within a foot or so. They should be tuned. Hope it helps. If you like it, give it a like, give it a share and inbox me for any additional questions. But look at this video over and over again and it will make a lot of sense to you. Guys, have an awesome day. GoPro, stop recording.